Hola. Hola. Bienvenidos a Lightspeed Spanish. Bienvenidos. This week we have a test of something that you should know, <laughs> which is the verb Or to you know. may not know. <laughs> <laughs> Or not to know. That's a question. It's the verb saber and the verb conocer. Saber y conocer. What do you like? Do you understand them? So at the beginning, Cynthia's going to explain a little bit about just the concepts of them, but not much. And then we're going to have a test. How many is in the test? Twelve. Twelve questions. Well, not twelve questions, twelve sentences. And they have to fill in the blank. Pues muy bien. Hablamos de todo en la segunda parte. Y ya sabéis, chicos, que si os gusta el contenido, por favor, dadle a like y suscribíos porque es gratis y así sabemos que os gusta nuestro trabajo. And if you want more information on subjects like this, we have them in Ser Socio and we produce lessons every week. Take a look. It might be something you're interested in. We actually talked about saber y conocer in Ser Socio last week. just last week. Mm. So it's all there. Oh, vale. Cintia. Entonces, ¿vamos directamente al tema o hay que explicar muy por encima? Muy por encima, pero en inglés. Ok, vale. So we have two verbs that translate as to know in English. Mm -hmm. So in Spanish we have two and they're used for different things. Um, so we would have the ver verb saber, which has to do with Sap sapient, sap sapient, sapient knowledge. <laughs> knowledge. <Yeah. laughs> so, in the mind, uh, mechanical things, how to do things, okay, mind and mechanical things. Exactly, knowing yes. stuff. Exactly, knowing stuff. And then we would have the verb conocer, which is when you have a deeper relationship, it's knowing not just with the mind, but also with the body. You have a relationship with that person or that place, mm. it's more involved than mm -hmm. just saber. And a nice way to think about that is that it's it's the body, it's a knowing, but the body's normally been there, you know, in either metaphorically well, or not, physically. Not, not when we talk about, do you know someone? <laughs> you can't say, my body's been well, there. <laughs> yeah, it's been next to <laughs> them. Doesn't, it's been next to them and you may have well. touched them. <laughs> my body's been there. Yeah. Do you know intimately? <laughs> My body's been there. Okay. Um, also, worth mentioning that uh, two things with the verb saber in reflexive, saberse. Uh -huh. um, uh, we use that, saberse, when we know something by heart, like lyrics, like rules, mm -hmm. like anything that is a, like has like a list or something to know by heart. Mm -hmm. And with conocer, when we have the verb conocer, in preterit, it could well mean to meet for the first time, okay? Not to know. Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Muy bien. So, again, if you want more information, we have a 10-minute video on yeah. this. Uh, on Just on the explanations, Socio. yeah. I'm mm -hmm. sure Gordon can put the link. Somewhere. I'll put the link of, of Say Socio. You can try it freely for a month, by the way. You don't, there's no, you know, you don't have to stay yeah. with us. Just try and see whether you like it and then stay. Yeah. Vale, and then stay and pay. Yeah. But free for a month. <laughs> okay, so test. So I'll give you the sentence and then there's a gap okay. and you have to choose. And okay. I'll give you the two choices. Yeah. yeah. Número uno, Pilar. Por un casual. ¿Dónde he puesto mis gafas? ¿Sabes o conoces? Entonces, tiene que ser, sabes. Muy bien. Porque es información, ¿no? It's information that we know. Something, do you know where my glasses are? Información, muy bien. And also, when we have, like, a question afterwards, it tends, tends to be saber. Mm -hmm. ¿Sí? Vale, número dos. No lo... Quizá estén en el coche. Sé, conozco. 
so no. it's going to be safe. No? No lo sé. No lo sé. No I lo don't sé. know. Still, information, I haven't got it in my head. No lo sé. Muy bien. Número tres. ¿Cuáles son las diferencias entre saber y conocer? ¿Sabemos o conocemos? I would use sabemos. 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 Because it's with a question word, with like cuál es, yes. dónde, cómo. Exactly. Muy bien. So we tend to use saber with those question words. Muy bien. Número cuatro. ¿Quién es Juanjo? Lo siento, no lo sé, conozco. Well, this one's got to be conozco, because we're talking about I don't know Juanjo. Well, this is actually a little bit of a trap, because it could be both. Who's Juanjo? No, I don't know. Ah, okay. I don't know, no lo sé. O I don't know, as in I don't know him. Okay, yeah, 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 that's exactly. Yeah. It could okay. be... Um, Conozco, mm -hmm. yeah. So I don't know the person, like I haven't had a relationship, or I don't, like yeah. you said, my body hasn't been there. <laughs> I haven't touched him. It's, so that would be conozco if you think in that way, or if you just think in information, Juanjo information, no idea. Okay. Yeah. That would be same, yeah. Vale, número cinco, número cinco. No mm, nada, John Snow. ¿Sabes? ¿Conoces? Ok, so that one is sabes. No sabes no nada. No sabes nada. That beautiful Spanish double negative. Muy bien. No sabes nada. Is that a quote from a film or something? Yeah, Jon Snow. You know nothing, Jon Snow. Was it You know nothing? I don't know what film, what film was that. Juego de Tronos. Ah, oh, ok, ok. Yeah. Vale. Número 6. Dios, qué mosca más enorme. Enorme. Número 6. Qué buen regalo de cumpleaños. Me... Muy bien. ¿Sabes? ¿Conoces? You know me so well. Conoces. Me conoces. Me conoces yeah. muy bien. Yeah. Número 8. Gerardo se quedó pasmado y no qué decir. Supo, conoció. Mm, now we're moving into pressure. It. So it's still got a questioning qué, so it's going to be supo. Mm -hmm. Supo, muy bien. It's, it's a regular in. Preterite. It's very irregular in Preterite. It's an oop. Número 9. Pedro trabajó 20 años con esta máquina. La... Muy bien. Sabe, conoce. Well, this is where we're moving into the uh, very familiar with, which is conoce. Muy bien. He's had his hands on it. He's, he's probably taken it to bits. Yeah, he, he knows this he machine. Knows he knows it very yeah. well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Número 10. Vale, nos quedan tres, ¿eh? Ajá. Número 10. Mm, ¿A quién he visto en el restaurante? ¿Sabéis? ¿Conocéis? ¿Sabéis? Because once again, it's this question that comes after mm -hmm. it. ¿Quién? And this one tends to be confusing for students because they think, oh, who, person. Yeah. With conocer, we, uh, with per people we use conocer. But, you know, think about what the, the question is saying. Yeah. Um, do you know who it who was asked. that I met? Do you know that information? Not, do you know the person that I met? Exactly. Muy bien. Número 11. Yo no haría eso. Me... Mm, muy bien. Sé, conozco. Ok, so conozco. 
that I know who I am. I know mm -hmm. myself well bien, enough to know myself. I wouldn't do it. Muy bien. Mm. Y la última, número 12, me... ¿Mm? Todas las banderas del mundo. Mm. Ponme a prueba. Sé, conozco. Ok, so this one is saberse, to know by heart, yeah? So, mm, es. me sé. Me sé todas las banderas. I know all the flags. Ti, 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 ti. Reflexive. Saberse. Muy bien. Muy bien. Muchas gracias, Cintia, por a eso. A ti, a ti. How did you do? Out of 12, how many did you get? Once you understand the concepts, yeah, write in the comments, please. Write, uh, let us know how it went. And once you understand the concepts, it's fairly easy to work it out. Yes. Uh, but without the concepts, it's a dodgy situation. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> Ok. Muy bien, chicos. Pues os leo en los comentarios y a ver qué tal os ha ido el test. Ajá. Uh -huh. And thank you very much for the comments, by the way. Sí, Cynthia is extremely busy estoy... every day now <laughs> because the comments are going up, but that's lovely. Yeah? We like to hear from you and it gives us ideas. Yeah? Eso es. Vale. Muy Entonces, bien. ahora nos vamos. Y nos vemos. Hasta luego. Adiós. Adiós.